Welcome to the Harvest USA Report. I'm Brian Hale, an original production of Howard Hale Broadcasting, now expanded throughout North America. We'll be back with our report for today, right after this. Farming and ranching is hard work. If you're in the industry, that's nothing you didn't already know. Finding the right partner that works just as hard to handle your risk management needs is what WSR Insurance excels in. With a dedicated crop insurance sales team of over 25 agents, WSR can help your operations stay in business during turbulent times. We have local agents spread out across the country that are familiar with your unique and individual needs. WSR has been in business since 1917. We attribute that to our outstanding customer service. That's WSR Insurance Incorporated. WSRINC.com. Give them a visit and then give them a call. Overall, producers continue to report better than expected yields, but likely not record yields. So the crop remains a mixed bag, but overall may be better than expected in terms of production. Quality is also quite variable. The crop quality survey samples have been a bit slower than normal to arrive at the North Dakota State University Quality Lab. So far, less than 40% of the expected samples have been analyzed. Currently, protein samples averaging 14.1%. Test weight is averaging 60.7 pounds per bushel and some reports of test weights as high as 63 to 65 pounds per bushel. Durham in the state is about 68% harvested, a bit behind average. Producers report some harvest delays due to rain and cooler, shorter harvest days. Yields appeared to be close to average overall, with some producers seeing above-average yields and others reporting disappointing yields. Protein appears to be mostly good, with pockets of lower than average. For more information on the weekly wheat update from North Dakota State University, visit ndwheat.com. That's it for today's Harvest USA report. Thanks again for listening, and may God bless. I'm Brian Hale.